What's up, Bearcats? Coming up on Cats News, we're covering this month's Claw Award, the upcoming Trunk or Treat, our blood drive, past and upcoming concerts, and more. I'm Kenzie. And I'm Carlos, and this is Cats News. Each month, two students are recognized with the CLAW Award. This award stands for Character, Leadership, Academic Achievement, and a Winning Attitude. Our October Students of the Month have been chosen. Congratulations to Garrett Dick and Nellie Salazar. Thank you guys for your hard work and great dedication. Sherman High School is hosting the annual Trunk or Treat event on Tuesday, October 29th in the student parking lot. NESHS Club is able to participate in the event and set up starts at 4.30. Your club must have a theme, and clubs may not have the same theme. The event starts at 5.30 and ends at 7 p.m. The deadline to sign up for a spot in the parking lot is October 23rd. There will be a DJ, lots of candy and games for children to enjoy. There will also be a trunk contest between clubs for first through third place. Last week, we had our Pink Out Pep Rally. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and one in every eight women are affected by breast cancer. SHS shows our support in the research of ending breast cancer and supporting the women who have gotten it by wearing pink. Our Sherman High School's orchestra gave everyone a little scare last week when they presented their fall concert. The Philharmonic, Sinfonia, and Chamber Orchestras all played a selection of spooky music to put us in the Halloween mood. Some of the musicians even dressed for the occasion. If you missed the concert, you'll be able to catch them later for the annual Christmas music concert. Speaking of music, the Fall Choir concert is taking place Tuesday, October 22nd in the auditorium, starting at 7 p.m. Be sure to come and show your support for all of our choirs performing. Admission is free. Friendly reminder that our Author Fest is coming up for all sophomores. We are super excited to have E. Lockhart, the author of We Were Liars, joining us. Along with meeting her and listening to her session, you will also get a free signed book. The event is on October 24th during the day in our school library, and then at 6.30 p.m. in the public Sherman Library. Mark your calendars and make sure to be there. It's going to be awesome. And now, a quick break. Drunk or treat is coming up. If you're in a club, come to the student parking lot on Tuesday, October 29th from 5 to 7.30 p.m. to join the fun. HOSA sponsored the school's semi-annual blood drive last Wednesday, letting students donate blood for those in need. Many students take on this opportunity so they can earn a cord for graduation. Students have several reasons for giving blood, but it's ultimately to help others in some way. The main reason I wanted to participate in the blood drive is to, you know, give back to the people who really need blood, to the people who are, you know, aren't those unfortunate situations which they need blood. I wanted to work my way up into getting a cord, so I have to donate one more time to get it. There is always a need for blood, and if you missed out on this opportunity, they will be holding another blood drive next semester, or you can go to the Texoma Regional Blood Center. This week's wellness tip is journaling. Journaling helps us track our progress and growth. We can use journaling to write anything we want, goals you want to achieve, tasks you need to get done, emotions you're dealing with, and more. Journaling is a way to express yourself in a way words can't. So, so we encourage you to relax, take a break from the stressful things in your life, and journal. This month, we are focusing on the word integrity. Integrity means the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. Having integrity in your life is one of the best qualities to have. We asked some students ways they have shown integrity so we can see how it is executed. Integrity is doing what is right even when no one is watching. When I was at breakfast, I helped someone because they dropped their bag of food in there. 
and I know I need to do it, so I did it and helped them. Today, actually, we had to exemplify some integrity because the, the workouts were senior-led, so the coaches weren't in there, like, really monitoring us because they were in their meeting, so we had to make sure everybody was on task and doing the workout the way they're supposed to be and not messing around. We decided it's talking and I know I be quiet. So you were quiet when other people were talking? Yeah. But like in the classroom? Uh -huh. During school, there's a lot of people that like knock over their water bottles and I always go and help and, and I still listen while there's a lesson. So I could have chose not to help, but I did. My brother, one time at school, he was at the swings and he saw a watch and so he took the watch and went to the front desk and said, asked if it belonged to anybody. And she said no. So my brother got to take it home for finding it. A time that I exemplified integrity is during basketball. When we're supposed to be running, I always touch the line with my slider hand. This year, my teacher had to leave and so my science teacher she was watching her class, but also our class. And um, kids were like misbehaving, but I decided to not follow them and just like do what I was told to do. That's all we have for this week's Cats News. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.